We've got some stunning news yes. happening over at the Walt Disney Company. Bob Iger, the legendary Bob Iger, yes. has been reinstated as CEO. The board announced this last night that he agreed to a two-year contract to lead the company through what it calls a, quote, pivotal period. Iger ran Disney for more than 15 years before Bob Chapek took over in 2020. Disney posted lower than expected earnings in the last quarter and missed Wall Street expectations. The company also reported losses at its streaming division. Shares of Disney have fallen about 41% so far this year. Iger, who is 71, said he was thrilled to return and extremely optimistic about Disney's future. What's going on but, here? But he also said that, you know, this is an unexpected turn of events. Right. Even for him. I know people that talked to him over the weekend and last week yeah. were close to him and had no idea that this no was No idea this was going on. Uh, Back in 2020, he was asked several times. He was here on the yeah, show. Yeah, yes. the and yes. and asked in multiple interviews, would you ever go back to Disney? I think in an interview he did with Kara Swisher, he said, absolutely not. You can yes. never go home. Never go yeah. home you know, you can never go home again, right? Um, and he was very happy with his life after Disney, too. Well, there's that. But also that he was, first of all, remember that Bob Chapek was somebody that he had a hand in choosing. Yes. Yeah. He did have a hand in choosing that. And I want to quote from uh, Matt Bellany at Puck who wrote this. It's not one specific thing. From the early political misjudgments in Florida to an unpopular and arguably destructive reorganization, from the lack of engagement with the creative community to last week's earning debacle, these are some of the things that the board was thinking about. Uh, and it's sort of like, remember in Dallas when they bought back Bobby Ewing? Yeah. Woke up from a shower because the ratings weren't doing so well in Dallas. They bring back the star. I feel it's a little bit like that. Well, I wonder how Bobby. much all of that weighed on Bob Iger's mind, too, because mm. we know he cares about the company. For sure. So you'll get a kick out of this, Vlad. I reached out to Team Iger last night. Yeah. He sent a note to his staff at 945 on a Sunday night. Let's think about that for a second. So I sent a thing to Team Iger, his people. Would he like to come on CBS <laughs> and explain to us? Yes, we would love to we hear. We would love to have it. crickets. Right. <laughs> I mean, of course, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Jiminy crickets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jiminy crickets to you, Gail. Well, so, and I can't wait to hear to the backstory. A lot of the actors um, on Twitter are sort of like clapping and applauding this yes. move. So it'll be very I interesting. I don't know anybody. See, a lot of people say he's not going to put his legacy at risk unless there's something really big that he's cooking up. Ah. So stay tuned for that. Ah. We don't know, but could okay. be. Yeah.